Hi, I'm Old Norse Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford. Among the heroes of the sagas of Icelanders, none is a greater poet nor rune master than Egil Skallagrimsson. Early in his career, he uses a runic spell to, uh, to detect poison in a horn that has been offered to him and break it. And he also uses runes to carve a curse against his great enemies, King Erikr and Queen Gunhildr, on his scornpole or Neathstone. But he's perhaps most famous for uh, using runes in a sort of medical capacity. Late in his career, in chapter 73 of the saga, he meets a farmer who takes him in for the night, who has a daughter who's sick, and Egil asks if anyone has tried to figure out what made her sick, and the man says, well, a neighboring farm boy had carved some runes and left them in her bed. So Egil has the girl taken out of the bed and he examines all the bed clothes and everything else on the bed and he finds a whalebone carved with runes and sees that the boy has carved the runes wrong. Apparently he tried to carve a love spell but accidentally put a wrong letter or something in it at some point and ended up making her sick with the spell instead. And at this point Ego says in one of his many skaldic poems in this saga, Skalat mother runa rista nema roda vel kuni That verther morgumani es of mirkvansta vilisk. Sok o telgdu tokni tiu leunstavi risna that hever lauke lindi langs overträga fangit. You ought not to carve runes unless you do them well. It happens to many carvers that they make an error. I saw carved on a whalebone ten coated letters. It has caused the woman a long illness. And this warning, of course, reminds us that, at least by saga times, runes were regarded as having some magical power that needed to be carefully used uh, in order not to have the wrong result. And since writing Old Norse or carving Old Norse in runes is a very difficult and complicated process because the younger Futhark is not an easy medium to learn how to use, uh, his warning resonates even with those of us working with runes in 2017. From beautiful Colorado, I'm wishing you all the best.